Hi guys, it's Kristen here, and this is how to get a smaller waist in just 10 minutes a day. All you need is yourselves and a mat, and I've got my gym boss set and ready to go. We have 10 exercises, and we'll be doing each one for 50 seconds. So we're going to be starting in a high plank position on your hands. So get yourself ready to go, and here we are. In that high plank position, feet together. Go ahead and bring one knee across the opposite shoulder and back. I really want you to think about squeezing into those obliques. Go ahead and twist that knee across. You should really feel the bottom of your abs having to twist and work. Keep drawing that lower abs in and up, pulling that belly button into your spine. So a lot of times we do these quickly for cardio, but we're going to do them slow here for that oblique burner. So it gets into the waistline and it's gonna pull it in tightly to help you shrink that waistline. Good job, you have 10 seconds here and we're gonna flip it over, lie onto your back, take your hands and legs wide and you're going to reach your opposite hand to your toe, lower it down, opposite hand to toe, and lower it down. So you're reaching your opposite rib to hip, getting a nice twist through the midsection here. Use a big exhale to get yourself up. And rest. Now we're gonna be bringing our legs into a tabletop position here. Hands behind the head. You're gonna curl your head, neck and shoulders off the mat. Rotate to one side. Tap the toe down to the floor, bring it back through center, release, and lower. Lift, the, lift yourself up, twist, tap that toe down again, release, and lower. Now you can stay here with that opposite leg in tabletop or to advance, stretch that leg long. So you lift, twist, still take that toe tap. Really get some of those lower abs as you're holding that rotation for those obliques. Lift, twist, toe tap, release, and more. Really challenging here. All right, 10 seconds, and we just repeat on the other side. So go ahead and give those knees a little rock, reset. Knees right over the hips. Lift up, rotate, toe tap, release, and more. Remember, you can do whichever position you like for those legs. If you prefer to advance, extend that other leg long and hold it there. Curl up, twist, toe tap, release, and lower. You really have to hold on to those obliques here. Those lower abs will really switch on as you lower and lift that toe. Make sure that your lower back stays connected to the mat here. Don't let that lower back arch. Good job, guys. Good, bring it in, lower it down. Feet down now. We're gonna take rainbow abs with a cinch of the waist. So we're gonna lift up, go right, center, left, lower it down, left hand reaches, cinch, and lower. So we lift, left, center, right, lower it down, cinch, right. Up and around and down, cinch, release. Up and around and down, cinch, release. Up and around and down, cinch to release. Keep alternating directions. You got it, guys. Keep it going. Can you get those shoulder blades off the floor on that rainbow?
Good job, guys. All right, roll yourselves up. We're gonna come into a modified V sit so we can bring our, our knees side to side. So hands behind your hips, fingertips facing forward. You're gonna soften your elbows, reach those legs away, pull them in, twist those knees to one side, lower it down, pull those knees and twist to the other side. So lower, come up and twist. Lower, come up and twist. Down, up, down, up. Now the lower you can get those legs, the more challenging it is to hover that position. Now see if you can really start bringing those knees side to side. You got it guys, keep going. Looking good and come all the way up. All right, now we're gonna go into our Russian twist. So another great one to work the waistline. You can modify by keeping the feet on the floor like this. Hands reach forward, hinge back and twist side to side. You can also add a dumbbell if you'd like to add some weight to it or a heavy water bottle or a kettlebell. And if you feel good, you lift those feet, find the balance on the sit bones and chop, chop, chop side to side. Try to keep those knees still. Good, bring it in. All right, we're getting there, guys. So now we're gonna come into a reverse plank position. Hands still stay behind the hips, fingertips facing forward. You're gonna lift your hips up, find a reverse plank. Lift those hips higher, look up to the ceiling. Pull one knee up to your chest. We're gonna twist down, drop that knee. Bring it up and reach it long. Other knee lifts, drop and twist, release, and more. We always focus on normal planks, but reverse planks are incredible as well, especially with this great rotation in here. really works into the back side of the body. And release. Now we're going to finish with side planks. 50 seconds on each side. Stay with me guys. If you have a thin mat, go ahead and fold your mat to protect your elbow. We're going to lift up, find your side plank. You can have your feet stacked or cross that top foot in front of your bottom. If you need to, you can always lower that bottom knee down. We're gonna take one hip dip and then one rotation. One hip dip and one rotation. Oh my goodness, I can feel my waist shrinking already. It is feeling so tight and toned like an hourglass. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you're feeling the burn with me. Good release. Let's change it over to the other side. Last 50 seconds, hang in there with me. You can do this. Remember your feet can be stacked, they can be staggered, and that bottom knee can be bent. Remember each side could be a little different. Make it work for you. Here we go. Down up and rotate. Hip dip and a twist. Hip dip and a twist. So you're feeling it right in here, yeah? Right into that waistline, right where you wanna make it smaller. Really cinch it. I want you to really squeeze. Can you lift this bottom up higher now? Hold it up there as you take that rotation. Then let it drop 
and release. Woo! Well done, guys. That was tough. Oh, my waist needed that. <laughs> well done, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that waistline workout. Make sure you have a quick stretch. Release. Give yourself a little mermaid release through the sides of the body. Another way. Well done guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and make sure you share it with a friend. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification button so you make sure you catch my weekly workouts every single Monday. And if you're not following me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, make sure you do. I can't wait to see you and say hello to you. So uh, thanks for joining my Keys community here. See you next time. Bye guys.